Hi, Rich Nass with Embedded Community Design. I am in a meeting room with Cypress. I'm here with Sven Natus. Is that how you say it? Natus? Natus is right, yes. Very good. He's a senior director for Cypress's automotive business unit. And uh, they got some cool stuff that they're showing here. And we're going to walk through the various elements of it. I shouldn't say we. Sven's going to walk through the various elements of the car and show how, how these processors um, power the different elements. Yes. Take Thank you away, very much. Sven. So what we want to introduce today is our Traveo 2 microcontroller lineup. Traveo 2 focuses on two major domains in the vehicle. One of them is body. The other of them is uh, driver information, graphic application. What is valid for the entire Traveo 2 family is that we now support enhanced security mm -hmm. as well as over-the-air updates. And over-the-air updates, as you can know, it's a big topic these days sure in the is. industry, right? It's very important for the OEMs because eventually they're able to update the software remotely in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. You don't have to bother the driver or the owner of the car with bringing it back to the garage and making the software update locally there. So very convenient and saves lots of costs. That means we can execute software out of the flash mm -hmm. while in the background we are programming a new image. And once the updated image is available, we can seamlessly switch over and it will be totally transparent for you as a user. So this is the capability that we introduced here, which comes with dual banking and read while write flash. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you want to be able to download software into a vehicle, this needs to be a secure process because you're getting vulnerable all of yep. a sudden. You bring in new software, that can mean you bring in malware, spyware, whatever, right? And all this you need to be secure against. And this is what we introduced with Trivio 2. We introduced a hardware secure module, which is called HSM. And that comes with secure boot mechanisms to authenticate the software which is on board. It provides cryptography for various levels where you can uh, make sure that the data that you're receiving from the outside, you can authenticate that. Uh, you can make sure nobody tampered with this. Um, so lots of additional features that we introduced mm -hmm. to support these major trends in the industry. Very good. What we see here is a first sample of our Trivia 2 graphic devices. Uh, we see these are powered by two separate devices, right? No, they are not actually. And I'm glad you're mentioning that. Uh, actually, these are powered by the same device. Same device, same time. Same device, same time. And only on based on the internal memory footprint. So there's no external video RAM that is needed. It's all a simple processor which powers these two displays. Um, and it only uses 60% of its um, available video RAM for this. So it has four megabyte, it only uses two and a half to drive those two displays. Hmm. And there is some, let's say, magic sauce from Cypress that we introduced here. It's a propri proprietary graphic subsystem, which we have been developing on for generations now. It has been available in previous generations as well, but we continue improving it. And we always strive to provide our customers a very low bomb cost solution, mm -hmm. which is able to drive higher displays. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. So I, I won't go into the details of this proprietary technology. That's the secret sauce. That's the secret sauce, exactly. But what I would like you to know as well is that these graphic devices are not only limited to displays. They also, and, and this is a, an additional trend that we're seeing in the industry these days, they also can be used with front lighting. And obviously the question is, why would you need a graphic controller for front lighting? And the answer here is for matrix LED lights. Um, if you Google, for example, what I believe it was Hella and Osram announced lately was an LED matrix front light mm -hmm. with each 30,000 LEDs. 30,000 LEDs is like a small display, if you want, right? right? There's just light points, pixels, if you want, that you need to control. You can't do this with a simple GPIO with bit banging. So eventually you need a graphic controller. And this is what we're showing here um, with our Traveo microcontrollers, how you can project information onto the road in front of the vehicle, how you can make sure that the oncoming traffic is nobody's blinded because you can actually have blind spots then there. Um, so these are the enhanced application spaces that we see for our products here. Thanks, man. This is really exciting stuff. You guys have really uh, pulled something out of your pocket with this one. Yes, I'm glad you like it. Thank you very much for coming by. My pleasure.